We're here with the flesh tones or two of them. Still Mel Highs and Peters are under here, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So we're here and everything. TX Underground, I probably already said that, but it's two in the morning after an amazing show. And uh, what's your favorite song to play live? Either of you. Oh, uh, that's a hard question. <laughs> because uh, you know, every night it changes a little bit. We, you know what? We had a special request from the club tonight to play All Right. Yeah. Because that's from uh, the coastline, it's from Gavs. So uh, that's a fun song to play because you get to play, you know, people say, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. And you're kind of wearing it. I always enjoy the Dre and the Vindicator. That's my favorite song. That's a lot of fun to do. A lot of action in that song. Yeah. That's the right bit of that. Every night that, that song surprises me because of what the guys do. They play each other's instruments. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, it's very cool. It's a delicious stuff. <laughs> so, uh, you got to have a favorite moment of being in the flesh tones? Just absolutely anything? Uh, if, if you have something I want to say, uh, well, when we first went over to France and we knew that people liked us over there, that was a big moment. That was a long time ago. In fact, it was 1980. And uh, it was pretty astounding to know that people somewhere else, far, far away, liked us. And that, was, that, was, that was a moment. That was a moment. You know, people say you know, all sorts of things uh, against uh, France and all that. And then, but, you know, for us to feel like they were really loved. A place like Paris. It's pretty incredible. You feel like a, I feel like he's a piaf or something, you know, and so do we all. And so that's a wonderful thing. But we were just in, uh, like, four nights ago, five nights ago, we were in Belgium. And uh, two nights before that, we were in Italy, in Roma and whatnot. And the feeling is great. And, uh, you know, people appreciate what we do. And, uh, we try to give it our all. It's a great thing. So we love it. You don't have to go around. You know, don't worry. That's Kenny Fox. Whip that camera. Yeah. Whip that we camera. Got, we got to get room here. To whip whip that camera. That's Kenny Fox, our bass player. And what an asset to his people. He's a credit to his nation. Do you have to bleep that out? Uh, no, no, no. Asset? <laughs> He's a credit to his people. I'm telling you, Kenny Fox, man, is he an asset. There's only four of us. I mean, Somebody's got to be an asset. Somebody's got to be an asset, right? Yeah. So, uh, it's comfortable. So, no, I can fall asleep too. I'm falling asleep. You can probably fall asleep with our lame ass answers. <laughs> so, uh, hey, well, this is, it's been, you know, fairly monumental year because you guys have released uh, or the Australian labels released uh, it's finally, super rock time finally the whole IRS year finally and uh, the truth has been revealed <laughs> are there any plans for any new releases new albums new are stuff? there plans are there plans are there plans you show me are there thank you my friend thanks a lot here's our, here's our there are many the plans door. you know what one of the greatest uh, the, the oh, yeah, destructions yeah. against whoa, what is that? Oh, la, la. That's really la, 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 la. One of the greatest destructions <laughs> of the Flush Tones reputation and our stature in the world of music is that our previous recordings were held back because, for legal reasons. So while every minor group, every group that like uh, you know anybody had box sets flying out. And Mojo, uh, you know, magazine put in the cover stories about them. The flesh tones were nowhere because of all of our previous recordings were like legally uh, banned. Finally, uh, some of our stuff has come out. The Australians, God bless them, uh, put out on Raven Records of uh, uh, its Super Rock Time, which is a compilation of some of our IRS stuff from the 80s. So, you know, better late than never, what can I say, right? Why not? If only it had been 20 years ago, 
or something when they, they were like putting out compilations about everybody, you know, and uh, all these English people like flipping out over all this stuff. And like we were kind of, you know, uh, wiped out of history, which I hated. Finally it's happening. We're, we're playing a new record right now, which is going to kind of be a, kind of a soul review record, uh, which is oddly enough, late for us, but on the other hand, natural for us. Makes sense, totally. Makes sense, because totally. everyone always said we were the most soulful of, uh, you know, our type of bands. So we're, we're going to do that uh, hopefully uh, next month. And do another record right now. <laughs> so, um, uh, I guess I'll not say too much of you guys time. Don't worry about it. Final yeah. words? Final words. Well, um, my, you got a final word? No, you want a final word out of me? Why not? We're talking like the relations of soul and what, what you guys do. It kind of totally makes sense to me. We've, we've always tried like to be a, very like soul. Bring us like a soul review, like it's totally like, this is going to be a very organic like take on it, you know, to me. We, uh, we kind of grew up watching the soul reviews and whatnot. And uh, the real, you know, when they talk about garage music, in the 60s, most of the real garage music was an attempt to kind of, you know, for dances or whatnot, play soul music or whatnot. Baby, as best as, as the, baby, it's you, sha la 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 As best the white people. all the Beatles doing all the girl group songs or something, or covering uh, you guys are Arthur, 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 Arthor Alexander songs or something. I mean, they're... I mean, if you think about like all like the classic, the classic soul records, Black Singer, who was in the band? It was like Donald Duck, Don on bass, a white guy, Steve Cropper on guitar, all the Muscle Shoals guys. Steve Cropper was. I mean, like soul up, music like, was like a band. Soul music was like a hardcore black music, but it was definitely like meeting of like white and black together, and that doesn't uh, ever get as absurd as it should be. People don't realize that shit. People don't like, realize the it. The best soul music is like really soulful, beautiful black person singing with all of his heart and soul with a bunch of white boys with their geeks is like they're like they're making amazing music behind it. You know what I mean? It's a marriage of, of uh, cultures and people. And the reinterpretation was the white kids trying to play all the, you know, the soul you music uh, top uh, four. Anyway, look at it. Ramones doing like Here's the Ronnie Spector so. tunes. This guy's trying to work uh, Beatles, oh, Beatles, Beatles, Beatles doing uh, Motown tunes. Here comes tunes. a Shiner Bach. Beatles doing Motown tunes. I mean, I mean, it's all relative. It's all a part of the same family. You know? And anyway, please come see the Flush Stones oh, because I'm trying, I'm not, trying to make it back more than uh, once every two years. <laughs> Yeah, cut out my and the ugly cut out my dialogue. Friends you can cut out my dialogue. Come see both of them on this tour. It's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I, I'm used to, you know, I've got the freaking. He's coming through. Dude. I'm used to watching punk bands, and this is like literally the most intense stage show I've ever seen. And that's gotta say something. We can do better. It's, 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 up, it's up there with Sam Cooke at Harlem Square. We can do better.